Today I'm going to show you a few other fun ways to use your stamps in ways that you might not have thought of and also a way to use your stamps when you think you don't have any more uses for them. So what I'm going to start off with is this big outline heart. I'm going to stamp it in my watercolor black ink. Stamp it down. There we go. I'm going to set that aside and I'm just going to stamp another one very quickly. It doesn't matter that it's light. And before I even start, Take this and cut, cut it out. It's actually the hardest part. The paper is getting squirrely on me. Quickly cut it out. Basically, I just created my stencil. I'm going to put it right over the top of the heart I just did. Now I want to fill this heart in and create a pattern with it. So I think I'm going to use something that maybe is a little more unique. Let's start off with this little sort of clovery kind of what you call it, ginkgo leaf thing. Grab my rainbow ink pad. Make sure I clean it off. I know I'm not good about doing that every time. And I'm going to take this stamp and I'm going to use it like it's a paintbrush, basically, and color in my heart with it. Stamping it over and over multiple times, turning. Probably doesn't look like much now, just a sort of mess of stuff. And when I'm using my rainbow ink pad, I can kind of shade a little bit too by taking and stamping the darker colors over to one side. <coughs> Pardon me. And the more times you overlap it, and stamp it over itself, you start to lose that it's a leaf and you get more of the fact that it's just a pattern. Take that. Now when you take this away, you now have a patterned heart. And you can take your stamp. This was the little bowl poppy that we've used. Poppy. Stamp one there, one there. And down there, it looks maybe a little strange right now. I'm going to grab, I should have got this out. Grab my little, oops, stamp on the floor. Three leaf stubby stamp. Throw some bold leaves in there. Take, throw, oh, let's see, I got too much of an even pattern, so I'll throw one there. And then I'm going to take this little stamp help pull the color around a little bit. And then I'm going to take my pilot pen. And like I've done in some of the other videos, I'm just scribbling little lines, basically doing that. See that? It's a little wiggle back and forth. And I'm doing that in the bottom of the bold poppy, kind of making it stand out a little bit. Like that. I'm going to take a little bit of green, throw some green around my leaves. I'm 
give it a little bit of a different look. Some blue in there. There. And then I'm going to take my dots in blue, very light touch, add some dots. My poppies almost look like roses now rather than poppies. <coughs> and then I have my heart filled in. And maybe since this was a flower idea, I used a flower leaf thing to fill the center. You don't always have to use a flower for the flowers. I'm going to go back. lost my black ink pad. Here it is. Back to my black ink pad. And stamp my heart. My bold heart. And grab my stencil, the same one I had before. Cover up my heart. And this time I'm going to grab something a little more unique. This is a F286 HK um, birthday cake. And I'm going to stamp it over here in my rainbow ink pad. And the purples and the yellows. I mean purples and the yellows, the reds and the yellows. Listen, I'm kind of going around the edges so my yellows are to the center, but you wouldn't have to be that precise with your colors if you didn't want to be. If you hear any little noises going around, there is a little West Highland White Terrier that is under my feet. He likes to be noisy when he's not supposed to be. So hopefully he doesn't start barking. Go around. And when you take this away, there is your heart. It's actually filled in with a birthday cake, but I don't think anybody would ever know that there's a birthday cake in there. And then you would add your flowers, or if you wanted to keep a birthday theme, add candles. I just wanted to show you that you don't always have to use something that's flower related for a flower image, and it's a way to use a stamp that you may have not thought of using again. I'll do it one more time. There's my heart again. This time I'm going to. Okay, let me stamp it again. If this happens, if it goes, your image gets mucky and you start to get the shadow lines, you can actually take a craft knife and cut that out. I just need to maybe stamp a little bit lighter. Let me try it one more time. It can be kind of heavy handed when I stamp. There we go. This time, instead of using the stencil outside, I'm going to switch and use the stencil inside. And I'm going to grab this little leaf outline. And I'm going to take back to our rainbow ink pad. And let's see. Maybe in the greens. And I'm just going to stamp randomly around this. on a sticky note because then I wouldn't have to try to hold it. And when you take your heart away, 
you have the exact opposite. You have the center that's open and the heart that's kind of decorated. And then you can take flower again. Instead of using that poppy, I should have gotten it out. Let me grab this bold daisy stamp. Put it off again. Go back into the blues and the greens. Or the, not the blues and the greens, the blues and the purples. And if some goes in the inside of the heart, that's okay. If you don't want that to happen, just when you're doing this step, put your mask back in there again. That. And I'm going to grab this bold leaf and stamp some bold leaves in there. They don't all have to be everywhere there's a flower. Got that. What's well, kind of neat about the stamp we used for the background, <laughs> if you go back, the same stamp is essentially an outline of the leaf. We have the same thing for the fade out flower too. If you take your bold outline and you go on top of your stamp. You can draw this in by hand if you wanted. But if you didn't feel confident doing that, just take go on top of it, and it essentially outlines it. And then I'll take my green Tabo watercolor marker, throw some green little spots in there. Give it a little bit of a hand-drawn look again, and painted feel. You could make the center of this a frame or put it write your message in there if you wanted at that point. Or even trim it out a little bit. Let's see what I forgot what I was doing. Brown. A little bit of brown. And then I'm going to grab my soft gray. I'm going to go on the inside of my heart going to be a little careful that I don't hit the purples and the pinks with my gray because it will bleed those colors and I don't want it to around my leaves on the outside. Okay, do that and then I'm going to take my pilot pen and go back around some of my little leaves. And these cards will be online so you can see them close up there too. And I'm just sort of tracing the edges of some of the little leaves. Kind of makes it stand out a little bit. And then I'm going to grab my dots. We're going to put them right here in blue. Soft touch. That just so again softens it, kind of creates baby's breath or, <coughs> excuse me, the stuff that causes allergies, which is what I'm dealing with. And you'd have your leaf that is both the outline for the leaf and the heart. And I wanted to show you. Um, I forgot what I was going to show you. Take this guy and how we can make this into a patterned vase or that kind of thing. Start off, fold your paper in half, and create a fun little shape. This one has a skinnier neck. And cut it out. When you open it up, Oops. got my vase. Put that down. And this time, instead of my rainbow ink pad, I'm going to grab an amethyst or blue ink pad. And I'm going to just take and randomly 
stamp this oak leaf all over the place. The more times you turn it, the more times it creates just a pattern rather than an oak leaf. Right now it's kind of reminding me of a bat. which if you stamped it in black, to be honest, and put some pumpkins in it, might be kind of neat. That's where ideas sometimes come from, stamping something else. Okay, take that away. When we take it away, here is our shaded vase that you would never know was an oak leaf unless somebody told you. off. Again, water on paper towels. Purge on a little bit higher quality paper towels so it doesn't leave fuzzes. And then, let's see, at this time I'm going to grab back to this little three leaf stamp. And we're going to take, oh, I don't know why I opened that, but I did. Go in with our little three leaf stamp. Stamp it multiple times, creating a little blob. That way too. And in there. Make something fun down here. something else. I'm going to just use something else. This is the C69 Fur Branch. I should have had my Hunter Green ink out. Sometimes I'm not as prepared as I should be. Cover up the top of my base. Add some fur branches sticking out here or there. this better than the stickweed would have looked. Happy accident. So I got that. And then I'm going to take that same stamp, wherever I just dropped it, go into my green ink to create the leaves for it. That. And then take my markers bit of green in there. And a little bit of blue. And she grabbed this magenta -y color. A few little splops of magenta in there. the outside of the vase. Across the top. And you know, loop a few in the flowers. Draw a few little loops in there, here and there. step. Careful with my gray not to hit the magenta. Go around 
my base. Actually, I'm going to go into some of these fir branches and add a little bit of color as well. Around, across the bottom, my base, and the gray, and then of course we're going to add the dots. That's using a stamp to create something else, but it's also using the same stamp we used here to create the leaf, to create the flower and the leaf. <coughs> I want to show you one more quick thing, going back to this little open leaf and the solid leaf. Take your solid leaf, go around in a circle, and you have your point set up. Or if you stamped it in a pink, it's kind of a, a hibiscus kind of flower, Hawaiian flower, great for your travel pages stamped my green. I'm going to take my outline. Oops, I just stuck my finger in my black ink. Grab my outline stamp. And I'm going to take my outline. I'm not necessarily trying to be perfect each time, but just get it somewhat close to being on top of the leaf. Go on top your leaf. Now for the center, I'm going to stamp off, I'm going to use this little bold flower and just put a few in the center, give my flower its center. Put a little bit of green around the leaves. Throw some blue in there. my gray. And gray is always nice for popping it off the page. That and the last step of the dots. And you have your flower and outline with that hand-drawn feel, but really using two stamps.